More Oscar coverage now. The red carpet was bursting with fashion and memorable moments. Oh, yeah. Let's go back out to Suzanne Marquez for all the sights and sounds. Hey there, Suzanne. Hey guys, I am on the red carpet live right now at Elton John's Oscar party. We have David Allen Greer right here. Now, he's wrapping up an interview, so let me tell you what Tim Allen said just a few seconds ago. He was saying to all of us that he thought this was a gag when everything went down on stage. That's what everybody in the audience thought as well. So, for him, he said it was really uncomfortable when everything changed. Okay, let's go over to David. Now, David, what did you think when that hey, happened? Let me tell you something. I am speechless. Like, in the moment, at my table, with acting professionals, we were, our initial guttural reaction was, is this a joke? Because it's not funny. It's not, this is, this is the worst joke ever. And then I realized, it's not a joke. This is real life. And then I thought, oh my God. And yeah, okay, they did fix it immediately, but, it was so, I mean, the rest of the evening was taken over with me trying to convince my table mates going, do you realize that never in the history of the Oscars will you see something like this? It's overwhelming to the point where you stop feeling anything. You become kind of numb. And, you, and, and I, I get very relaxed, weirdly. I, I become, like, very zen about the whole thing. Honestly, I don't think I'm fully, like, re like receiving what this is right now because I'm just walking and talking and loving this moment, but this is the Oscars, you know what I mean? This is the top. Didn't hit me until I saw Meryl Streep handing out hors d'oeuvres in the, in the galley over there, and I was yeah, like, I'm at the Oscars. Okay, right? This is all incredibly surreal. Um, it's also my birthday today, so I'm like, this is nuts to be here for my birthday, my first Oscars. This was pretty much a personal design for me, which is kind of nice. So. Love it. How do you feel in it? I feel, um, I feel like a movie star. <laughs> Ruth Nega wore gorgeous rubies and a red gown, but her standout accessory was a blue ACLU pin. Lynn Manuel Miranda wore one too and brought his mom as his date. What did it mean to you to have your mother here next to you? Oh, it was it was the only thing that was going to happen. We've been watching the Oscars together since I was a little kid, so uh, I, I knew she was going to be my date. And what is it like to be here with your son? It, it's just amazing, and it's, for me, it's a dream come true. We, I always dreamed of this, but this is the reality, and it's just incredible. Jackie Chan brought two stuffed pandas wearing UNICEF pins and was recently awarded his first honorary Oscar. Congratulations. Thank you so much. How do you describe being here? Exciting. Uh, I want to jumping. Uh, just unbelievable. Taraji P. Henson was starstruck by Jackie, and the La La Land songwriters lost it over seeing her. I'm freaking out. Right? This is the Oscars. Yes, this is the Oscars. Yes. Any, anything can happen, like Taraji wow, Henson and Jackie moment. Chan. That was a moment. Having a moment. Having it was a moment. moment. Uh, Little city of stars, are you shining just for me? Doo -doo 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 -doo. Wow. Okay. And those guys actually won Oscar. And that's what's happening is we're forgetting who actually won Oscar tonight. But we were talking during the story that possibly there's two copies of the winners, right? <laughs> I, this is, you have no idea how bizarre this is. This is like the, this, this is this fake news. This is what we're thinking at the table in the moment. Um, what is real? Is this a joke? It, it, was, was... it was really tough. And it just makes you think, Moonlight, if anything, if they haven't seen it and they're at home, they're going to go watch it now. That's, That's at least That's what it. we hope happens you now. We'll set it glass back to you guys. In the... Yes, glass, glass half, half full. full. We'll love set it back Moonlight. to you guys. Damn. I love it too. I don't know how you Thank did you. That. <laughs> well, there is more reaction to the mix-up. Wow. Actress Elizabeth Banks tweeted, that ending to the Oscars should win Best Picture next year. Congrats, Moonlight. I gotta love David Allen Greer, though. <laughs> he is a hoot. All right, Oprah Winfrey posted, what? <laughs> Congratulations, Moonlight. My favorite Oscars in memory. And Ellen DeGeneres tweeted, nothing like live TV. Congrats to Moonlight and to La La Land for such a gracious reaction.